Keep watching Charis TV. Hello viewers all over the world. My name is Helen Olaya. I'm here with my lovely sister Esther Namushinga. We are both from Namibia, the two sisters from the same father, same mother. We have come here to meet the Lord Jesus Christ. And what brought us here is the condition of my elder sister. She was diagnosed with cancer of the womb. I think it started around February when the doctors kept on asking her to go to Onanjoko State Hospital in Namibia for the operation. Each time she was sent to go to the hospital on Monday to prepare for the operation on Tuesday. It happened on three occasions that I have come to know about it. And then I became a bit devastated seeing my sister going up and down for the operation and nothing was happening. And then I told her that this time, if doctors maybe are buying time, maybe they are afraid to operate you, they saw something and they are not honest with you, just go listen to them. They should not admit you in the hospital. Once they say come back on uh, next week, Monday, come straight to Rundu. That is... Um, in the east, um, east, northeast of Namibia. So she she came, and then my intention of inviting her to, to come to me is for me to be able to get a passport for her to come to Charis Missionary, where I know Jesus will have a solution for her. Good. When I we came here, we were put in the one-on-one, -on -one with um, the servant of God, Prophet Andres, I was called in first. And then when he looked at me, he told me that Satan wants to kill me. He's attacking me in various ways. Using my... Okay, he, talk, he asked me, where, is my, where are my children? I said, one is at home with me. Then he told me, that this child has got a suicide, suicidal uh, spirit. She isolated herself, which I confirm, because she has been isolating herself for three years. We live in one house, but this child is just in a... She is not a child. She's 32 years old now. She's just in her room. What happens? She cooks for herself. She doesn't eat food cooked by somebody. She's just between her room her ki the kitchen, the bathroom and toilet. That is all what she does. And when we are not at home, she go and watch the TV in the sitting room. And when we come, she retreats back to her room. So the man of God said, it is, she is not a problem. People are using my face to appear to her in the dreams. And that, those dreams make her to think that I'm a witch or I'm demon possessed or something like that. But the man of God said he would pray for me and whoever is responsible will be exposed. Okay, as for my other son, that is Boyd, the magistrate in Chumep, and he said he also needs prayers. Like we must pray for him. And then, okay, he said I've got pains. He saw something that is moving from my left leg up to the spinal cord. And it is depicts or um, what is it insinuates a um, stroke if i'm not prayed for i may suffer from stroke but he promised you pray for me which he did and everything will be the thing of the past okay when i entered in the in the office where prophet andres was the atmosphere was so lovely the presence of god and the, the humble servant of God spoke to me. Uh, <laughs> he's younger than me, but he spoke to me as a father. <laughs> it, it is so, it, I mean, it's so impressive that you don't even want to stop the discussion. It's such a servant, anointed man of God. He eventually prayed for me. And then coming to my sister, 
he told her that this cancer issue is not really cancer per se. It's a spirit that was given to her. It comes in and out, off and on. She feels weak sometimes, but most of the time she feels strong because the spirit comes, I think the time it goes out is when she feels strong. So he said he will pray for her and he did. He also said if she goes for operation, that operation may kill her. So he said he will pray for her and the spirit will go out. And that is what he did. He prayed for her. Before. Not yet. If they operate uh, now, this is going to be another issue. It's so, like this operation will kill this woman. Jesus. <coughs> Thank you, Lord, for healing my mother today. Thank you, Jesus, for this total deliverance. In Jesus' mighty name. God, you are a healer. Healer now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on. You pray. You know, I'm sorry to pray for your eyes. You see here, here. Jesus might Thank you for the spirit. Forgive your daughter. Amen. Just forgive her. You pray for her. Amen. You hear me? This is just a spirit that they are trying to use it to turn it against your own children. Just forgive her. You know, I, I'm just asking myself if my own son calls me all those things that I've been wishing. You know, I will. I'll be devastated. Indeed. Jesus, my dear. Thank you, Lord, for saving this woman. Thank you, Jesus, for also healing her. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, it is so, I mean, it's so impressive that you don't even want to stop the discussion. Such a servant, anointed man of God. He eventually prayed for me, and then coming to my sister, he told her that this cancer issue is not really cancer per se. It's a spirit that was given to her. It comes in and out, off and on. She feels weak sometimes, but most of the time she feels strong because the spirit comes, I think the time it goes out is when she feels strong. So he said he will pray for her and he did. He also said if she goes for operation, that operation may kill her. So he said he will pray for her and the spirit will go out. And that is what he did. He prayed for her. And I thank God for that. Okay, for myself again, he said he will pray for my eyes. Because you can even see I will use uh, four eyes. I've got glasses because my eyes are poor. 
Yes, that is a, um, in essence, okay, he saw that I've been promoted and Friday I just received a letter, I mean a, a message from the chief magistrate that I've been promoted. I'll be soon moving to Suakop Mount, where I'll be a divisional magistrate. And uh, the man of God said, God will help me in that office. There are so many challenges, but he said, God will help me in that office. Praise the Lord. I'm feeling very good and happy to hear the pastor saying you are free from cancer. I'm very happy and I thank God. He cured me although I was even thinking that I am finished but God with me, with me. He is in my body then and cure me. I'm very happy. Praise Lord. Amen. Those who suffered like me, I needed them to seek help like I do. There is a help. I know God talk with them, but they are ignored. They're supposed to follow God's plan. Sometimes, maybe they are poor. They can play hard, not two minutes, hard so that they can get help from God. Hallelujah. Viewers, you don't have to suffer in, um, in, in isolation, in ignorance. There is the grace that appears to men that brings salvation to all. We have been following Charis Missionary Church where people are receiving solutions. I started what hearing um, Charis Missionary Church, in fact, I was just going through my, my, my phone and I discovered the humble man of God, um, our father, B.J. Makananisa. He has been, uh, when I saw it for the first time, I said, what? In South Africa, next door here, I decided I plan to come. I didn't go through the invitation. I came when I was staying in, in Johannesburg. I came with Uber transport here. And I found amazing grace. People are being healed. Prophecies are flowing. And I decided there's no way I can stay like now I'm telling you viewers. There's no way I can stay with this big thing, big uh, uh, testimonies. Come to Charis. You can even follow. You can ch check on Facebook, YouTube, I guess. You can follow um, Charis and you can experience what I've experienced. There is anointing. The grace that appeared to all men is delivering people. As I am here, I'm a testimony. I remember when I came, the man of God said, I'll be promoted. And here I am, I'll be leading nine stations as a divisional magistrate. <laughs> and he also told me at a certain time that I'm born to build houses. And I even forgot about it. Uh, Prophet Andrew saw it now. He saw the house because it, the, the one I've started, it is at a roofing um, stage. So prophecies bring um, solutions. It was uh, two, two, 2000, eh? 2020, February when I came. I think so, yeah, February when I came, the prophets came of pro uh, promotion. It just, and then it manifested last Friday. Was it yesterday? Yesterday morning when I received the message from the chief that I'm now confirmed that the letter has been signed by the Minister of Justice. I will start in, in Swakop Mount in, in, in uh, uh, first of, uh, first of May. So viewers, don't sit at home. Find a way to come to Charis. You will find your solutions. They are good, nice people. Good uh, um, custom care. We we mention it in the world. Here we have got the love of Christ. Every the brethren are so kind. They are so good. Come to Charis. Find your solution. You'll be healed. You'll be delivered. You'll be blessed. Hallelujah.